What is the correct order of draw for the following tubes? Green, lavender, light blue, red. A. Light blue, red, green, lavender. B. Red, light blue, lavender, green. C. Lavender, red, green, light blue. D. Light blue, green, red, lavender. Answer A. The correct order of draw is light blue red green lavender to prevent cross contamination of additives. Which of the following veins is most commonly used for venipuncture? A. Brachial. B. Median cubital. C. Cephalic. D. Femoral. Answer B. The median cubital vein is the most accessible and safest option for routine venipuncture. What is the main additive in a light blue top tube? A. EDTA B. Sodium citrate C. Heparin D. Fluoride Answer, B. Light blue tubes contain sodium citrate, an anticoagulant used for coagulation tests. Which color tube is used for CBC, complete blood count? A. Red B. Green C. Lavender. D. Gray. Answer, C. CBC tests require a lavender top tube, which contains EDTA to prevent clotting. Before collecting a specimen, what is the most important step in ensuring patient safety? A. Asking for insurance information. B. Checking the test order. C. Confirming patient identity using at least two identifiers. D. Asking the patient to sign the consent form. Answer, C. Correct patient identification using name and date of birth is crucial to avoid medical errors. If a patient begins to seize during a blood draw, what is the first thing the phlebotomist should do? A. Hold the patient still. B. Remove the needle immediately. C. Call 911. D. Continue the draw to finish quickly. Answer, B. The needle must be removed immediately to prevent injury during a seizure. What is the correct angle for inserting a needle during venipuncture? A. 10 to 15 degrees. B. 30 to 45 degrees. C. 60 to 90 degrees. D. 15 to 30 degrees. Answer, D. The standard angle for venipuncture is 15 to 30 degrees for successful vein entry. Which of the following tubes is used for glucose testing and contains sodium fluoride? A. Red. B. Gray. C. Green. D. Light blue. Answer, B. Gray tubes contain sodium fluoride and potassium oxalate, which preserve glucose levels. Which of the following actions could result in hemolysis? A. Letting the alcohol dry before insertion. B. Gently inverting the tube. C. Using a needle that is too small. D. Anchoring the vein properly. Answer, C. A small needle can damage red blood cells during collection, causing hemolysis. A specimen requiring protection from light should be placed in which of the following? A. Ice. B. Foil wrap. C. Warm water. D. Incubator. Answer, B. Light-sensitive specimens like bilirubin should be wrapped in foil to prevent breakdown. Which condition may occur if the tourniquet is left on too long? A. Hypernatremia. B. Hemoconcentration. C. Hemophilia. D. Hypoxia. Answer, B. Prolonged tourniquet application can concentrate blood cells, skewing test results. When collecting a blood culture, which antiseptic should be used? A. 70% alcohol only. B. Chlorhexidine or iodine. C. Soap and water. D. Hydrogen peroxide. Answer, B. Blood cultures require a sterile site cleaned with chlorhexidine or iodine to prevent contamination. What should be done if a patient refuses a blood draw? A. Proceed anyway. B. Document the refusal and notify the nurse. C. Call the family. D. 
D. Discard the tubes. Answer, B. Patient rights must be respected. Document the refusal and report it appropriately. A lipemic specimen appears. A. Yellow and clear. B. Cloudy and white. C. Red and frothy. D. Dark purple. Answer, B. Lipemic specimens contain excess lipids and appear cloudy or milky. What is the primary function of EDTA in blood tubes? A. Promote clotting. B. Preserve glucose. C. Prevent clotting. D. Dilute the sample. Answer, C. EDTA binds calcium, preventing clotting in specimens meant for hematology tests. What is the first step in the blood collection procedure? A. Tie the tourniquet. B. Clean the site. C. Identify the patient. D. Insert the needle. Answer, C. Always verify patient identity before proceeding with the draw. If the bevel of the needle is against the vein wall, what will likely happen? A. The blood flow will increase. B. Hemolysis will occur. C. Blood flow will stop. D. The vein will collapse. Answer, C. When the bevel rests against the wall of the vein, blood flow is obstructed. Why is the lavender tube not drawn before the light blue tube? A. It's too heavy. B. It clots too fast. C. It could contaminate the coagulation test with EDTA. D. The blood is too thick. Answer, C. EDTA from the lavender tube could alter results of coagulation studies in the light blue tube. For a heel stick on an infant, what is the appropriate site? A. Lateral plantar surface. B. Center of heel. C. Ankle. D. Toes. Answer, A. The lateral or medial plantar surface of the heel avoids nerve and bone damage. What should a phlebotomist do if a patient complains of shooting pain during venipuncture? A. Continue drawing. B. Withdraw the needle immediately. C. Reposition the needle. D. Tighten the tourniquet. Answer, B. Shooting pain may indicate nerve involvement. Stop the procedure immediately. Which tube is typically used for stat chemistry tests? A. Light blue. B. Green. C. Red. D. Lavender. Answer, B. Green tubes contain heparin and are used for stat chemistry tests due to their quick processing. Which of the following is a critical step in preventing infection transmission? A. Wearing gloves. B. Using expired tubes. C. Reusing tourniquets. D. Recapping needles. Answer, A. Wearing gloves is a standard precaution to protect both the patient and phlebotomist. What should be done if blood starts to bubble in the tube during collection? A. Change tubes. B. Lower the arm. C. Pull the needle out. D. Continue, this is normal. Answer, D. Bubbling can occur due to vacuum, it is not typically a cause for concern. Which of the following is true regarding capillary collection? A. It's ideal for blood cultures. B. It uses large volume tubes. C. Wipe away the first drop of blood. D. Use the center of the fingertip. Answer, C. The first drop is contaminated with tissue fluids and should be wiped away. Which organization sets standards for phlebotomy practice? A. OSHA. B. CDC. C. CLSI. D. FDA. Answer, C. The Clinical and Laboratory Standards Institute, CLSI, provides guidelines for laboratory practices.